take this thing for a drive so let's start her up so we're just moving off now first thing first thing to note just moving off the steering is really really light Jumpy. Idles may be a wee bit rough. Um, the car's warmed up a wee bit. What we're going to do is one thing about the K series is it gets a bad rep um, with an old head gasket. But if you maintain these cars and the head gasket, you change the head gasket. And these cars, the K series is a pretty reliable little engine. It's a good engine. I just think it gets a bad rep. So it's, it's quite a light wee car to drive. Um, got the engine behind you so you can hear it. And I believe that the engine comes alive about just after three case, so we're just gonna come round this bend. driving a metro for example I don't know because you wouldn't know that it has this engine underneath yeah. you wouldn't associate it being a 1.8 it just seems it's very quiet I mean there's a bit of noise from the hood and um, you also get soft top as well so there's a wee bit of noise from the hood rattling about and the gearbox is from a rubbery sort of plasticky um, gear lever. Gearbox is quite nice to use. Um, if you're wearing big boots then maybe the pedal position isn't for you. Um, there's been times where I've, I'm size 9, I'm wearing big boots. Where I, there's been times where I've managed to catch the when I've changed, changed gear, I've managed to catch a brake pedal. It's a really nice little place to be. Now, I'm not a fan of convertibles. And to be quite honest with you, after having this car for a few days, I had the roof down. I wasn't really enamoured, but... with it because I felt I was too tall for the pillar here but and I've just been mostly doing town driving in this car and it's not probably it's not worth more this is a fun little sports car like I'm going to show you right now drop down second got a 60 limit coming up and we're going to go Just puts a smile 
on your face. The key series is a little screamer. <coughs> How many head gaskets it's went through, I don't know, but it's a nice little wool mileage sports car that you could keep for for the weekend. It's the sort of thing you would have when the kids grew up. You and your your lady friend could go out for a weekend drive. See, the car's, the car's got character, I mean... Right, I'll come back to you shortly. Right, viewers, I think we shall carry out a 0 to 60 limit and see how fast this car gets up to 60 and then we'll carry out an emergency stop and then we'll do some summing up what I can say is the hydro gas suspension really works for this car um, if you don't know what hydro gas is instead of spring it's got spheres filled with I think it's like nitrogen nitrogen gas you'll find if you, if you know your rovers you'll find them on um, the metro um, like the Allegro as well. I think the Allegro maybe used an earlier version. It's, it's the same. It's the same sort of thing. Instead of having the springs, you've got these spheres. A bit like Citroen's um, um, system that they used back on, like the BX as well. So let's go and carry out a notch sixty on this little sports car. I think what we'll do first is we'll do our emergency stop. And I'm going to stop now. Mm, I'm not so sure. Let's see if we can carry out another one. We can. Go in the back of here. I just don't feel it was no. Well, it's a bit better. It does stop. this not to 60 now and then we'll do some summing up right not to 60 here we go
落ちてScreamer of an engine. So I think. We should maybe think about summing this car up. So there you go. The MGF in the mid-90s sports car from the MG Rover Group. What can I say about this car? It still is a beautiful looking car to this day. Especially Nightfire Red. It is beautiful. Rover nailed it when they designed this car. And I think putting the K-Series engine into it at the time was the right choice. Because it is an absolute screamer of an engine. I mean, they could, they could have launched a, an MG Metro or an MG Rover Metro type of thing in the mid-90s, but this was the, the classic little sports car to rival the MX-5 and like the Lotus Elan. It's a beautiful wee car. I mean, later in the MGTF, you got the sort of Toyota v, uh, VVTi powertrains and I believe you also got one earlier 1.6 um, petrol versions as well. My preference if I was buying this, well, I do own this car, if I was buying it brand new, I'd specify with, specify with a hard top. I'm not a convertible fan, such. So the, the hard top just makes it look, look like a nice wee coupe. Um, yeah. But for me, I'm, how, how would I describe it? For me, it's not me. I prefer having a hatchback. Um, maybe, because it's, maybe it's because I've done, mostly with this car, it's just been sort of town driving, potting around the town, picking picking the wee ones up from grandparents and school. Um, but I could possibly potentially see it on my driveway for a bit longer um, and just use it every weekend as a wee, fun wee sports car. Um, 
just get that key series alive. Um, but um, yeah, I'm um, I'm a mixed minds. Um, I I like it for its uh, sport car abilities, but it doesn't. I don't know. I thought I'd, I thought I'd love it more than I would. And I think on that conclusion, I'll leave, I'll leave my conclusion there, but I mean, if you are looking for a little 90s sports car, then go, uh, go for an MG. You'll, you'll love it. But for myself, I'm a bit in two minds. Anyhow, I'd just like to thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe at Scottish Car Enthusiasts and Trains TV. And I shall catch you in another Bearded Drivers review very soon. Still is a pretty little car though. Nightfire Red.